The fleet section is where you would set up all the vehicles that you might need to dispatch on a client's reservation or that your in-house drivers and independent operators would need to select when going on duty in the driver app. The fleet section is quite different from the vehicle type section due to the fact that your fleet are the individual vehicles themselves, while the vehicle types are the broad grouping of these vehicles. For example, if I had two Lincoln Continentals and a BMW 7 Series, I would consider their vehicle type as a luxury sedan. In order for us to get started, we'll need to click on the My Office button. Next, we'll go to the Company Resources tab and then we'll select the fleet button. When setting up your fleet section, you should keep in mind that if you have multiple fleet vehicles of the same make and model, you will need to set up a unique code, description, or nickname so that when they go to dispatch a car and driver, they will assign the driver to the right vehicle. Also, when the driver goes on duty in the driver app, it will ask him to select the fleet vehicle they are using. So having this easily identifiable will make everyone's life easier. For this example, I'll enter in a unique code for the vehicle, such as CTS-1, and for the description, I'll add Cadillac CTS. Next, we'll make sure that our vehicle type dropdown is correct, and then we would input the make, model, year, capacity, and plate number. If you're not sure what the plate number is offhand, you can always enter a fake one and update it later. The rest of the fields are optional, however, we will go over them just in case you'd like to use them. The state register drop-down, the VIN number field, and the odometer field are there for record keeping. They don't affect your system in any way. The link car and driver drop-down is for those companies whose drivers always use the same vehicle. When you select the driver's profile here, it will only show this vehicle when they go on duty in the driver app. The status is here to allow us to deactivate a vehicle in the event that we no longer use it. The contact information fields are for those companies who might leave a phone or a tablet in the vehicle to be used by the driver. The information that is placed in these fields can be found in the dispatch section when you hover over the car field. If you have an independent operator working for you, you can place the insurance information under their vehicle's profile for easy access in the future. You can also color code the vehicle label and give it a nickname for easy identification under the dispatch section. Lastly, the notes section is for those companies who might want to set up a checklist for their drivers to use when getting started for the day or for the driver to complete before every run. The custom forms section of Limo Anywhere has a special tag that will pull the information from this notes section and display it on any form that you decide to create. Some companies build a vehicle checklist and then have the system automatically email it out using the scheduled messaging system. Let's not forget to save our changes. In order to add a new vehicle, you can click on the top right icon or you can click the Add New button to the left.